Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the Chef Yusuf Show where we learn to cook the Islamic way. In previous episode, we learned how to make soup. The foundation of soup is a good stock. And of course, we learned how to thicken the soup using a variety of methods like pureeing the vegetable and making a roux. Um, a lot of people ask me, Jeff, what about making a soup from the can? Is that something you recommend? Of course, it's something I recommend, especially in the month of Ramadan. I think a can of soup is a gift from Allah. It will cut our uh, cooking time. It will, we can make a lot of wonderful things with the can of soup. But technically, there is no comparison between a soup that you make from scratch and heating this up. But there is a benefit, though, of canned soup. Uh, it is a way to allow your children to start cooking. Uh, my experience was the first thing I ever made in my life is open a can of soup and I heat it up. I called it a dish. After that, I opened the can of soup, I heat it up, I added some meat, some vegetables, some shrimp, some cheese, and I started cooking uh, beginning with a can of soup. So it is something I encourage the mothers and the parents who are watching the show, if you want to encourage your children, let them start with a can of soup. In today's episode, I'm going to show you some of the tricks that you can do with a can of soup other than soup. So we'll go ahead and show you two or three things that we're going to do today, inshallah. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to start with, I'm going to make a good sauce using the cream of mushroom. Cream of mushroom, um, when you open the can, it, it looks like an extremely thick and gelatinized uh, you know, liquid. Uh, so if you want your uh, soup or the sauce to be more on the creamy side, you can add a little bit of milk on it. You can add uh, you know, broth if you want to make it on the less creamy side. If you want to have it extreme creamy side, you can add the uh, cream. Uh, I like to go with the middle so I added a little bit of uh, milk to thinner the uh, cream of uh, mushroom so this will have like a cream mushroom a little bit on the thin side. So in a skillet here we'll add some fat. So to start to make any good white sauce I do recommend using um, onions and uh, garlic. So this is either even if you buy the Alfredo sauce uh, from your supermarket and if you want to put it on some kind of lasagna. I do encourage you just cutting a little bit of onion, any type of onion, scallop, green onions, and uh, and some garlic, as I'll show you. And I have a big fat garlic over here, so go ahead and add that. I'm going to start with putting my weight all the way, crushing the garlic. This will make it easier to peel. Go ahead and cut the end off. And uh, let's go ahead and chop that as well. You know, I always recommend that using uh, sweated onions. You know, the sweated onions, maybe I'll do that next time, inshallah. When you have sweated onions and you can keep it in your fridge, anytime you want to add like cooked onions on anything, you just use that to, to put it on whatever you want. Sweated onions is just basically uh, cooking the onions on with butter you know, with the low heat. This will allow uh, the onions to sweat and become soft and, uh, you know, translucent. So cooking this will take a few seconds. It, it, we're not going to cook overcook it and make sure the garlic, you don't want to burn it. So after we cook this, really it's... Uh, it's just uh, using the can of the cream of mushroom to make a really good sauce. If you do cook a little bit of meat with it, it will be much, much more beautiful and much more uh, tasteful. All right, but this is the basic method is using the cream of mushroom uh, with some a little bit of onions and garlic and added it on top of any spaghetti or or any pasta. So this is the first thing that we can do with a can of mushroom. And if it needs more liquid, we have our milk over here, cream or broth. So let's go ahead and cook this. And as, as it will thicken, we'll go ahead and add it on top of the ravioli. Any white sauce, of course, it will go well with some bacon. If you have some bacon, the halal bacon, you know, a lot of time, you know, the Muslim community have a lot of challenge when they go out to restaurants and every time they eat clown chowder soup, any white soup, they see the bits of, <laughs> you know, they think it's seafood, but there is actually bacon in these things. So we are th thickening the cream of mushroom right now. 
until it becomes a really nice and uh, wonderful sauce. Adjust seasoning, add salt and pepper if it needs to, make sure you taste it. And we'll use a spoon method to know if it's thick enough. Spoon method is basically looking in the back of the spoon, rolling your finger across it and you'll see how thickened the soup is. You don't want anything to uh, drip down, so this is, needs more thickening. So go ahead and cook it a bit more. So as you can see here, the sauce is coming together. It's becoming thicker and thicker. When we deal with uh, with uh, Alfredo or with any uh, white sauce on, on spaghetti or on uh, fettuccine, I do like to add some sort of cheese. So right now we have some Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese, we'll add some Parmesan cheese so to further thicken the sauce. And Parmesan cheese, of course, the cheaper you buy it, the less cheese it has. This is uh, known in when it comes to Parmesan. Uh, so be, be careful because they have the cheese and they have other ingredients just to make the quantity bigger uh, So keep that in mind when you, when it comes to buying uh, And investing in your Parmesan cheese to go on top of any white sauce that will go on top of any uh, pasta Dish so this is a really simple way to make you know to use uh, the cream of uh, mushroom to make a sauce as you can see it's really really nice at this time so we'll go, go ahead and add the ravioli or the pasta okay put it back in a plate make sure you taste it add more cheese and this is a really simple method of making a sauce out of cream or mushroom, which turns out very wonderful and very delicious. You know, the more hours and the more efforts they put in making an ingredient is the most flavor it has. So why not use the cream of mushroom to make a wonderful sauce? So this is my first technique of using a can of uh, soup to make something else. Next, we will show you something which is more interesting when we come back after the break. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Don't go away. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome back. I want you to look at this painting over here. Uh, this is uh, painted by artist Andy Warhol, uh, the big can of Campbell soup. In 1962, this painting was sold for an anonymous bidder for over $23 million. $23 million for this painting. So I want to ask a question for all of my viewers and everybody who's watching. Is this art? Well, if this is art, what about this? Is this art? Well, what's the difference? I mean, if this is art and this is, uh, how come this is not art? And if you say, if this is art, well, what about this? Is this art? Well, if you stay tuned, I'm going to show you a really an artistic thing that you can do with the can of Campbell's soup and some few of your vegetables in your pantry. So let's go ahead and get started. This way, I'm going to go ahead and get a paring knife. I don't have a paring knife. Actually, I couldn't find it. So I got one of my butter knife. I'll go ahead and core the yellow bell pepper. So to take the yellow pepper top out, uh, maybe remove the seeds. We're going to use the lid back. Everything and, you know, try to remove all of the pits and the stuff that's inside the... Now this over here, we're going to go ahead and, and stuff it. You know, every culture and every uh, society have their uh, food that they stuff something with something else. So this is really up to your culture. I'll, most of uh, you know the where I came from, they love to stuff it with ground meat with a little bit of rice, you know, al dente rice, not fully cooked. So when we go ahead and cook this, it will be all well and done. Other cultures like to put vegetables. Uh, in other episodes, we made so much food, we have a lot of leftover food. So I'm gonna make, I'm gonna stuff it with with one of my uh, you know stew uh, recipe episodes that we made. We made a lot of stew over here. We made so much stew, we don't know what to do with it. But you get my idea, is you get one of your, uh, your vegetables and you try to stuff it. And you can use the Campbell's soup instead of the flavorful liquid broth. And this way you can cook them together and you will have a really artistic piece of um, art, right? Just like the painting of Andy Warhol. 
let's go ahead and stuff this with some of our meat we made some meat and uh, we we fried it with uh, with onions and uh, celery and some uh, carrots and you can refer back to that episode of when we talked about the difference between soups and stews so this way we can stuff it either with this or you can stuff it with with if you have quinoa or if you have some rice or if you have any uh, anything left over you can go ahead and experiment and this is and this is the advantage that we have from uh, cooking using uh, the the can of soup right we talked about in earlier uh, episode how we can use uh, the can of soup to start cooking to allow the children to experiment cooking and all the good things now because we're not making food for our people, because I want to show you an example here. Usually we have multiple uh, uh, bell peppers that we're going to go ahead and stuff. So we'll use something like a bigger pot. But since we're just making one for right now, I'm going to use a smaller pot. And even though I'm going to use one of my coffee uh, pots that will uh, fit really well inside of this. So we'll go ahead and add some heat. And we'll go ahead and open the tomato can of uh, Campbell tomato soup. And this wonderful soup will go inside. And if you have some of our delicious broth that we made in the first episode, or some flavorful liquid, we'll go ahead and add it and uh, make sure you put it in a low heat. You want to simmer this and you want to cook it maybe for 15 minutes until the bell pepper is uh, have uh, sweated and became soft to eat and then we'll go ahead and remove it and plate it so let's go ahead and add a little bit more of the broth on the on the pan so it will be uh, fold up until it's um, until we fill it up and we'll leave this cooking for 10 20 minutes maybe 15 minutes until you know the texture of the uh, bell pepper is softer and then we can go ahead and plate that we'll go ahead and get our plate over here make sure you adjust the seasoning uh, a lot of the uh, soups that comes from campbell they're extremely sweet on the sweet side i guess they put preservative to add it to you know make the lifespan of the can a little bit longer uh, but you got our idea our idea is is we can use any vegetable to stuff anything with and use one of the tomato can soup as the base liquid for it it will give the, uh, the the flavor from the from the tomatoes and the tomato will extract the flavor from the vegetable and whatever is filled inside the vegetable okay so let's go ahead and uh, present this let's go ahead and remove this show you how it will look we'll add the soup on top of this so of course this is going to be softer on the softer side where it will be fully cooked and uh, will be a, pr a dish that you will eat probably with a fork we'll cut it with a fork so look at this and tell me if this is not an art a piece of art let's go ahead and compare it by uh, with andy warhol with the campbell soup let me know guys what you guys think you can adjust the seasoning you can add some of the spicy uh, peppers cayenne peppers for the cayenne crazy people out there also you can put to add the, the, some dry herbs anything dry anything green any herbs goes very well with red sauce so next we will come back we will make something from the cream of celery or cream of chicken or the cream of something soup we'll go ahead and make a delicious meal when you come back don't go away From the valley of water 
and we owe it to show gratefulness where the call is to Allah where the call is to Let's go ahead and review what we learned uh, in this episode. We learned that encouraging your children to cook is something very beneficial for them, for yourself, and for everyone. And you can they can start by opening a can of soup and heating it up and adding some kind of anything and uh, calling it a dish. Okay. We also learned that making uh, using a can of soup it will cut a lot of time, especially in the month of Ramadan, the month of uh, fasting. And as always, we will end our episode with a virtue of the of fasting narrated or found in the book of Riyadh al-Salihin, collected by Imam al-Nawawi. This hadith is narrated by Amr ibn al-As. May Allah be pleased with him that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, the difference between our fasting and the fasting of the people of the book is that we observe the meal of suhoor. Or oh, Kamaqal Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, this is a rough translation. That is, he said the difference between our fasting and the fasting of the Jews and Christians, that the Muslims, when we fast, we have we it's sunnah for us to have the pre-dawn meal, the meal that we have before the fasting starts. So as for this, we will end here and we'll see you next time with another soup, with another hadith, with another episode. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.